It's a very, very difficult situation today, of course. Huh? Um, yeah, a particular one again. If we speak about the game, I think that um, in the first half we create chances. After six minutes, I said to the my staff that um, it will be about being effective because we have chances and on the only one maybe or second that Bonnie get they score. So I think we see something and then we, we had to score also in the first half because we I repeat we create a lot of opportunities. Good one. Um they know how to defend of course Burnley. Um and I will come back to the game, but first of all, I want to to congratulate Burnley. I mean, manager, the staff, and the players. It's a very good example of of stability and what stability can bring. Because most of the time, when you come from Premier League, being relegated, normally, most of the time, it's not normal. But the manager is not there anymore. So that's the clear proof that uh, when we trust somebody and his work, first of all, when we look even behind the results, what he's able to bring, what he's able to do, we can get some kind of good result. And personally, I'm happy for, for this club and for the manager that I know a little bit. So this is the first step. After, I think, if I want to speak about the game, I have to stop after 45 minutes because the rest, of course, was not really what um, everybody was expected. So, um, Just to go back to what you're saying about um, stability, um, is that a stability you envy, a stability you'd like to see at Charlton? Well, um, you know, I think you are all able to see what can bring stability, what can bring good work, what can bring patience, what can bring, yeah, all this. We have different kind of examples, it's not the only one. I just want to put the focus uh, because I think they deserve what they they get today. And uh, I remember well that the first time I, I went here in Charlton and we have to, to play against Burnley, it was certainly the, the team who makes me the most impression in terms of uh, intensity, in terms of commitment. I mean, what has to be a team? But the commitment on the pitch is also the commitment all around the pitch. That makes a difference. So, yeah. What's happening with your future then, Jose? Because now the season's finished, there's been a lot of talk that you would probably go at the end of the season. What's, what's happening next? Are you, are you able to say now clearly what will... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I decide not to stay. Okay. And why? <clears throat> but I think when you ask me the question, do you stay? <laughs> I always repeat the same. I will stay if. So I think you know the answer. It's not about necessarily the League One and everything. I'm not a liar. I have took this decision a few days ago and even before is what I I see and I feel. So I think everybody can recognize uh, my investment for Charlton the first time and even this time. So it's not certainly not about what I want to give back to Charlton and it's not that I think I'm better at the league one, not at all. It's not all this. It's based on, on the fact that, uh, yeah, I took this decision after after <laughs> many thoughts. What, one of the things that I was told was that you wanted assurances that you'd have control on the players that came in because you inherited a lot of players. Is, was that a key issue for you that you had control over transfers coming in? Yeah, no, it's 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 important, of course, because I think you succeed in a season <laughs> before the season when you you make the right choice and everything. But um, yeah, it's. 
Yeah, it's about, you know, the, the success is, is more than only, it's clear that it's a key point in recruitment, but it's also, yeah, the global context structure and everything. So it's more than only players, as I said. Do, do, do you feel there's a structure there to bounce back? Because there needs to be a turnaround to get have a successful season next year. It doesn't sound now, the only also. thing I want to say, if, if, I, if I tell you today that I, I decide not to, to stay, I think there are good reasons for. Mm. And it's not because I have something else, uh, sure not, because I, I never think about another club. <laughs> the only club in my mind was Charlton. Yeah? I was busy uh, with the daily work. Um, everybody knows also that of course, for me, England represents the place to be for all. And um, yeah, we we'll see what we'll will get the future. Do you, do you regret coming back after the job you did last time? Do you, in hindsight, do you think it was the right move for you? I remember that uh, you speak about my, not maybe you, but the people about the reputation because you take some risk as manager. And I want to say today the same when, when I arrive. Because it was Charlton, and, and not that I, I was thinking, oh, I can do it like this. No, 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 no. It's because the feeling I, I got at this moment was, yeah, I want to do it for for this club. So, no, I I never had regrets about the choices because most of the time, the choices I think a lot about, or it's this to speak, and I think. I can let's speak this. <laughs> There's been talk before that Rodrigo has had his say on players that should be playing and should be in the team. Can you say that that didn't happen the whole time you were here, that it was your team, your choice every single time that the team took to the pitch? You know, there are so many speculation mm -hmm. around all this. I'm a manager. I'm a manager. I manage. So there are many reasons why I put this team, this team, looking for the best. And I think that most of the people can see the what happens on the pitch, but I cannot be manager if if I cannot decide. So you pick you, every single time it was your your choice, hundred percent. Of course, I'm 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 free to do to do what I think the best. And Joseph, did the players know today that, that this was your last game? Did the players know? Before? I told to the player now after the game. And, yeah. and how was the reaction in the dressing room? You know. Um, Difficult to say. We have we have shared um, not really good moments. Some of them through the game, through some some. Now what I say is, I wish them the very best to all of them, and I must say thank you because they were in the same situation that I was. It wasn't not always and certainly too often very difficult. But uh, most of the time we saw on the pitch a team looking looking for the best result, even we were not able to, to achieve what we were looking for. That situation, from this kind of situation, I said to the player, you can always learn. And I think it has to make you stronger, because it's not usual, and but it's part of the job. Do, As do for you, me... Do you think the club can go forward successfully under Roland and Katrine, when you look at the, the anger and the protest that we've seen at recent home games and today, I mean, it's, it's not usual for Charlton fans to be like that. Do you think there is a future under Roland and Katrine? You know, I cannot read in the future because then <laughs> I will know before I <laughs> accept to come here that... No, I just want to say that um, I, I just want to, to, to hope uh, and, and to wish the best because I'm sure, as I said, and I think really it is, uh, Charlton can can have a very good future because you see the academy, you see the facilities, you see the passion. Though, why not? After that, I'm, I'm not responsible anymore. I can certainly not speaking about the the next story because I cannot be part. And even I don't know, but that's my hope. Let's say that's what I hope the most for for all the people here involved in in, in the daily work and and. Most of the fans who want also the best for the club. What are were the owners saying? aware you were going to resign Sorry? today? Were the owners aware you were going to resign today? If the owner 
was the owner aware that you were going to quit today? Ah, yeah, 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 I inform, yeah, yeah. Did you tell him before the match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he say? What did he early, say to you? early. What did he say to you, Jose? Did he, did he say anything in return? I don't want to go in details. Okay. I mean, what, what I want to say to you is that even with you, it was a pleasure because I think I always give you what are my souls. And I can say when we, we were not good or we were good, I mean, I always give you the feedback again coming from, from inside. Um, you were also fair, fair with me, loyal. That's what I was trying with you also. To, so we never know. Football is a small village. We never know what can be the next step. And I don't know for myself or so not. How much did the, um, did you saw the attitude of some of the fans today, the smoke bombs, protests, you know, nets that to be put up to stop stuff being thrown up the pit. How much of their attitude has influenced your uh, decision to leave? The, off, the uh, disruptions off the field here? No, um, no, no, it's, it's, it's not about the fans. I mean, I, as I told you, each time I can make the, the difference between what happens with the fans, what happens on the pitch with the players. So, no, it's not, it's not this. Uh, I mean, uh, it was clear reflection that I had and something that I had more and more base, yeah, on my daily life, <laughs> if I can say. Okay. okay nice. uh, one question on the game. There's one turning point, 36 minutes. Pope throws the ball out as a move, which ends up uh, with one of your lads one on one with Heaton, misses a chance. Do you feel that's one of the game? Oh, I think we, we had more than this at the first half. Huh? We have the opportunity on the edge with Callum, with Jordan. So, certainly to score even more than one about the, 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 the way we were playing at the first, for me, it was really consistent regarding the opponent, for sure. But again, it's about being effective and a lot of things can affect the efficiency is, of course, sometimes the lack of confidence, our situation and everything. So, but this situation clearly was, was certainly not maybe uh, the key for the final result, but was important in a game. For